The city of Kassel in the German state of Hessen has hosted the Documenta art exhibition since its inception in 1955. But this year, Kassel will share that honor with a city located almost 3,000 kilometers away, Athens. In April, the huge art show will kick off in Greece, the first time ever it's opened outside of Germany. Documenta's artistic director, Adam Simchik's controversial decision, is a show of solidarity with a city bearing the brunt of both the economic crisis and the refugee crisis. Documenta is once again coming in for criticism. Some say its view of art is too cerebral, with too many works tackling political themes at the expense of true artistic sensibility. Nadia Akiropoulou, a curator in Athens' independent art scene, is just a little nervous about whether Athens can pull it off. My biggest concern is that, believe it or not, that Documenta will fail. We may be critical with it, but um, we are curious and we want it to succeed because we will be left with um, the post-coitus melancholia. Architect and documenter artist Andreas Angelidakis says Athens is already the winner. For me, the most important capital that Documenta is donating to Athens is, is uh, attention. Uh, because that is something that you, you know, you are here making a documentary other institutions are interested in doing something in Athens because Documenta is there. They want to share in that attention. And of course, they generate more. Um, so I think that's very valuable. Back in Kassel, another artist is also directing attention towards Athens. Marta Minuin from Argentina will create a replica of the Parthenon from 100,000 banned books. The work is a protest against the censorship of free speech. Thank you. 